There is nothing in the world so easy and so happy as a new Regency dress. So back in the 60s, uh, this sort of style was just incredibly common. So we're just going to take a scissors and stitch ripper to a few things, add a little trim, change out the sleeves. The, the whole neck could be left. If it was trying to be day wear, they really did have something similar like that at the neck, but this is a ball gown, so that has to go. The other thing that has to go is this incredibly 1960s, or maybe it's early 70s, but this trim is so incredibly, they, they really love their daisies in the 60s, didn't they? It's gotta go. We're gonna go spend some quality time by the TV with the Stitch Ripper. Yeah, I'm gonna be here a while. Got the Stitch Ripper. The Stitch Ripper is your friend. Be one with the Stitch Ripper. And all these daisies have just got to come off. I'm gonna be, I got a few movies I can watch. So I picked off all of the daisies and a couple of them are so glued on, they're not coming off. I'm gonna have to try steaming them or um, something else. But I am going to cover, because I did tear a little bit of the, of the dress here, I'm going, I have a clever plan for what I'm gonna to do to fix that when we get to that stage. But I think I'm gonna, next I'm going to work on get, getting the neckline. Well, the end result, I have, you can see I have a stitch line here, a machine stitching line here that um, all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna tuck this end under, but that end is not pretty. So we are going to put some trim over that. But if I, because of the fact that I need to cover up this gookie stuff here, I have other stuff I need to do before I can do that. So I'm going to have to stop and take care of the sleeves next. And now that I have the sleeves torn off, I'm going to take off this lovely ribbed part around the wrist. Besides using the sleeves for the sli uh, puff sleeves, I'm gonna use this ribbing on the bodice to cover the parts that um, aren't, uh, aren't in good shape anymore. So check it out, making some progress. The sleeves are off. I have tucked under those ends after I cut it out. I have sewn them under so they're ready for trim. The front I'm gonna do a little more with. I also took off the top layer that I managed to melt with the iron in the process of trying to get rid of the glue. But by taking off the top layer, it is now being unadorned. It looks a lot more like a, an early Regency dress. So now that I've got a decent shell, I get to zhuzh it back up a little bit. Start. Now I just have to tuck all the ends in. So I'm going to tack this all down by hand to make it make sure it's tidy. Well, it's looking good so far. Now we need some trim, and um, I have got just the stuff. Now that's what I call progress. The gold trim just finishes it nicely. All we need now are some sleeves. So I pulled a pattern of a Regency dress out, and it's like, well, I have more fabric than the pattern itself actually calls for. And I want the sleeves to be a little bit puffier than the original. So I'm going to cut this vague shape into what I'm using. Here's the pattern piece and um, what I did with it. So it will be a little fuller. One of the fun things about little puff sleeves, they're quick and easy to put together. Damn, I love puff sleeves. They're so cute. I've got the same gold trim that I put on the bodice. I have extra to put on the sleeves. Let's install them. Yes, yeah, setting sleeves is one of my favorite things. You got an armhole and you've got the, you march the seam from the bottom to the, uh, of the sleeve to the seam at the bottom of the bodice. And you want to put, I'm going to do it the easy way and put the sleeve on the inside. We're just going to pin this down all the way around the inside. It looks kind of a mess at the moment. And this is why I love having a sewing machine with a sleeve arm. This is on the back, but take that off. And now the sleeve can fit easily into the machine. 
Okay, here's the moment of truth. We're gonna do this together. I'm so excited. Mannequin. And look at that. Oh my God. We have a Regency dress. Oh, she's so cute. Closer look here, so we get the bodice and then the little puff sleeves. Oh my God, it's cute. Now we'll just have to get a picture of the owner in the dress.